So let us be absolutely clear, under international law, Iran had no right to obstruct the ship's passage, let alone board her. Yeah. It, it was therefore an act of state piracy. We will now seek to put together a European-led maritime protection mission to support safe passage of both crew and cargo in this vital region. We have had constructive discussions with a number of countries in the last 48 hours, and we will discuss later this week the best way to complement this with recent US proposals in this area. Well, for more on that, let's go to London. Our correspondent, Benedict Pavio, is there. And, uh, Benedict, an act of state piracy, uh, given that uh, Jeremy Hunt has said that Britain does not want to escalate tensions with Iran. Those are pretty strong words today, aren't they? Yes, strong words uh, from the Foreign Secretary, uh, Jeremy Hunt. It was a short while ago in Parliament he updated MPs and urgent statement to the House. Let's remember it was the seizure of by the Iranians and the, the uh, gods of the revolution uh, on Friday in the Strait of Ormuz of this uh, big oil tanker, which is a British flagged oil tanker owned by Swedish owners, the Stena Impero, that has set off uh, this whole renewed crisis. There was a, an incident that was avoided thanks to a Royal Navy frigate only a week before, but the one and only Royal Navy. Uh, ship that is out there, frigate, uh, was not able, despite giving a verbal warning to the Iranians, uh, was not able to rush on time um, and stop the seizure as the British see it and this act of piracy, as Jeremy Hunt uh, has stated in the House of Commons, by the Iranians. Of course, a version uh, totally uh, denied uh, by the uh, Iranians. But uh, as we heard there, it is as the result of uh, both talks last night with his German and French counterparts and also with other countries that he didn't uh, specify that there's going to be this European-led maritime protection mission for ships in the Strait of Hormuz. Uh, because above all, what is absolutely vital, uh, the Jeremy Hunt reminded uh, MPs, was that free navigation in uh, the Strait of Hormuz. Now, it's interesting that he used the word de-escalation again and again, as you alluded to indeed in your question. But let's not uh, forget that we are in a very special uh, current uh, state here in British politics, where uh, tomorrow morning, Jeremy Hunt, that same foreign secretary, will find out if uh, he or his rival, uh, the former foreign secretary, Boris Johnson, uh, will become the next Tory leader and therefore uh, next prime minister, uh, whoever it will be of those two men. That will be on Wednesday uh, afternoon and they will succeed uh, Theresa May. Uh, we understand that possible other options are going to be taken and I should specify that all of this has come on the back of another, yet another, uh, meeting of the security uh, special interministerial meeting, this time chaired by the Prime Minister herself, uh, Theresa May. So an ongoing crisis, an attempt at de-escalation, because I think the British see it as uh, trying to resolve this diplomatically, but of course wanting a multinational support, seeking it and hoping to obtain it and to put it into practice very quickly to allow that free navigation in the Straits of Hormuz. Benedict, thank you very much. Benedict Pavio there.